Hey, I'm Nick, and I've talked a lot about the cycle of being motivated to do something to then do that thing, and how that is actually switched around or can be switched around where you can do something and then be inspired to keep on going with doing that thing, which might sound pretty confusing, but more important, the cycle can go either way. But I want to reiterate it for purposes of if you're dreading to do something that you're not motivated for, maybe you haven't even thought about it all day, you're thinking about stuff that you're much more interested in, and you have basically no motivation at all to do it. So of course I said, as long as you start doing it, soon you'll get motivated to keep on doing it, but you actually have to get to that point first. And a simple thought process for that is, if you're knowing you have to do something and you're not interested in doing it, but you still think to yourself, oh, I wish I was motivated for it. A way of thinking is to, if I start something, I will get motivated for it. Now, it may not happen that quickly, but that way of thinking can push you in the right direction to getting started on it straight away. So more than anything today, I'm just focusing on how to push yourself closer to actually getting a start of something to then get motivated to keep on doing it as you're doing the thing like I've talked about. And yet another thing I want to talk about as well is that although it's not always good to focus on the negatives and focus on on the positives can help improve your mental state, focus on how you're negatively using your time or moreover if you're wasting your time instead of going to do the thing that you know you need to do. You may get to it, but that time it took to start may have taken a big chunk out of the possible time you could have given yourself. And how to avoid that and give yourself that other push in the direction of getting a start on things is to not only think about, oh, I'm wasting time, I need to get a start on this. And also with the help of what I just mentioned, thinking that, oh, I need to get a start on this. If I was motivated for it, I would get a start on it a lot sooner if I need to get motivated for it, I need to start it now so that the cycle can start and I can start getting motivated for it. It's also good to think about how well you do once you are motivated for it, how well you'll get a lot of things done and stuff like that. While that is kind of daydreamy and I've talked about how daydreaming all the time isn't that beneficial, if you focus on the benefits of being motivated for something like how it can make time fly by and make you do better work. If you hype yourself up with those benefits of, oh, it's so good to be motivated, all this stuff happens. And if you link that with, if I get a start on it, then I get motivated for it. Then that's yet another push to actually getting a start on the thing. So yeah, that's it for today. Those are just some quick tips on pushing you a bit further to getting a start on something and then to get motivated for it as you do it. Thanks for watching. I'll throw up some more videos of the channel if you're interested, but until then, I'll see you later.